Hey guys, welcome to the video. A question I get all the time. How long does it take to learn web design from scratch to being able to take on clients as a freelance web designer? So number one, I'll show some quotes here on the screen. You see some students have taken my full stack course and within a month they're up and running and actually getting paid as web designers, even some as web developers. Now, the basic full stack course has, I would say, about two months worth of material, depending on how fast you work. It could be a little longer, it could be a little less time, it depends. But that gives you a ballpark. And when you get, I would say, halfway through, you could start taking on small projects that uh, are real, working with real clients. Now, what I would suggest because it's your first couple of contracts that you do, do them for free and consider these stages, consider these part of your training. And if you take my freelance course, in my freelance course, I give you five templates that you can use, contract template, initial proposal template. One of the most important templates is my time tracker. The time tracker template is gonna break down everything that you gotta track in terms of your billable hours the amount of what you're going to have to charge a client eventually in terms of uh, the work you do. When you're doing web design and development, you can't just charge for the time you're spending in front of the computer coding. You have to charge for phone calls. you got to charge for planning. It's a whole bunch of different things. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a bad situation financially. So that's important what you do. But the first couple of clients, what you want to do is you want to do small projects. Let me emphasize this. Small projects for free and consider it a stage, a year, a part of your training. See, people will go to boot camps and pay big money at boot camps, like five, ten thousand 10,000 or more, because they're, they want that stage. They want to be able to go work for a real web development company or design company. Well, you don't need a boot camp to do that because if you follow the steps in the uh, freelance course, then you'll have the, the exact step-by-step -step what you need to do to get your very first clients and to build up from there. But let me give you just a quick snapshot of what it's all about. So first thing you do is you learn your fundamentals of the web stack. So for web designing, that's HTML5, CSS3, image editing, maybe a touch of JavaScript, and you can start going there. Now, the next thing you do, once you get your foundations down, you want to put up a website. You have to put up a site that looks pretty good. So if you're not a naturally talented designer, no problem. You can use templates, free ones, or maybe get a paid one for 50 bucks. doesn't matter. It's totally legitimate. And you put that up, and then you, uh, you can start asking around local friends, businesses, family members may have businesses, something. You just want to get a real bona fide client, a real project to work on. And don't do a big one. You don't want to spend months on this thing. You want to spend a few weeks on it, maybe a week or two, that kind of thing, just to get it up and get it running. And what you do is use the time tracker template that I provided, use the other four or five templates, the five templates that are provided, and you just implement these things, but you just don't charge anything. And again, it's your practice run. You may have to do one or two of these, maybe three, but what you'll C is that once you have your site up, once you've done a few freebies, then you're going to start feeling confident about the process, and then you can start working on word of mouth maybe, and next thing you know, you're going to start trickling in more and more clients. It's really, that's the process in a nutshell. So how long does it take to get up and running from scratch to become a web designer? I say you can start getting your first jobs a couple months, depending, again, depends how fast you work. And once you get into that, once you start building out real projects, then the, the learning really begins. But the great thing about doing it this way, as you learn more and more technique, you'll be paid to learn as you go. So when you're first starting out, you're going to be charging less. First, you charge nothing, first two or three free sites, right? And then when you get your first paid gig, you want to charge less. Why? Because when you're a beginner, you're slower, your work is less efficient, the quality of your work won't be as good as it will be six months later, a year later. So you start off making less, but over time, step by step, gradually, as you get better and better, as your reputation grows, as you get more contacts out there, 
you're going to be able to charge more and more and more and more. And you'd be surprised how quickly you'd be able to start charging really good money for your time as a web designer. Same thing for web developer, the difference between a designer and developer. Designer makes the site look good, makes the site what you see. The developer will add functionality, you may add a shopping cart system, you may add a login system, but only certain people can access, etc., etc. You can start building out full web apps. Again, you start with basic ones, and you can move to more and more complex web apps. So there you have it in a nutshell. I'd say two months is safe, three, four months on the outside, and you could start and you will be billing as a web designer, web developer, if you just put in the time. And uh, I hope you find this useful. Bye-bye.